listen, Michael Frankie. When I thought about how can we pay tribute to our friend, I thought, what what would be better than this? Listen up. Rachel, what what song would be awesome for a tribute to Michael? Free Bird. There are too many places I got to see. I stayed here with you, Michael. Things just couldn't be the same. Cause I'm as free as a bird. Hi Michael, it's Renee. Just wanted to say how much we're going to miss you when you're not here. Fifth grade will not be the same without you. Had lots of good times, lots of good talks, shared a lot of laughs, and I just want to say how much I personally appreciate you talking me down from the ledge, keeping me from being so anal because we all know I can, helping me to not be quite so uptight about things. So you made a great impact on me in those areas and I appreciate you for that. The kids are going to miss you terribly, and again, we appreciate all you've done for, for everyone. Very excited for your new chapter in life. How fun to get to do some of the things that you're going to be doing, and it's wonderful to have people in your life that know that you're going to make the right decisions, and you're going to make it work, and they just support you every step of the way, so I know you're very loved and, and supported. And I hope that you will bring Koa and Alicia to see us sometime and let us know how things are going. So good luck to you and congratulations. Hey, hi, Mr. Frankie. <laughs> Best wishes, have We're, fun. We are gonna miss you so much. And remember, you do have the best um, ugly Christmas sweater and I hope that you can <laughs> keep it forever. We will miss you, Mikey, you're amazing. Bye. Hey, man. We're really going to miss you while you're off doing whatever hippies that don't work do. Well, the time has come. The time is now. My free spirit in this building is going now. And I'm going to miss you greatly. I'm going to miss your curly locks framing your face. I'm going to miss your mischievous grin. I'm going to miss little Koa walking prim and proper past me on the way to his friend's classroom. Um, I want you to know, Mike, we share so many similar ideologies and our political uh, beliefs. Uh, it's nice to have someone in this building that thinks like I think. Um, I'm going to miss your loving and caring ways, uh, your passion uh, for supporting our ecology and our conservation. And, But I do have to admit, Mike, sometimes you are just plain stubborn. And I love that stubborn heart of yours through and through. Uh, I thank God for you every day. I think you were a blessing and still are a blessing to our building. And I want you to know I'm going to miss you. And um, I want you to also know it will forever be Mike's team when I need it over the intercom. Love you, Mike. When I was in my 20s, I wanted to be a hippie. I loved everything about hippies. I loved tapestry. I loved tie-dye. I loved those cute little beads that you hang in your door. The things I didn't like about hippies, I don't like the smell of incense, and I don't like the fact that most of them don't wear deodorant. Then a hippie came to Fort Gibson, and I did like him. I like who he is. I like who he stands for. 
I like the fact that he stands up for what he believes, but most of all, I like the fact that he's my friend and I'm going to miss him. So here's to you, Mr. Frankie. Peace, love, and deodorant. Michael Frankie, my man. Let's see, when I think of Michael, I think of like support. He is probably one of the most supportive people that I know. You are one of the most supportive people that I know. When things get tough, I go seek out Michael. You know this. We've sat in your room and I have laid it out and I know that you're always going to be there to help me keep going, to get it straight, to feel better. When I think of Michael Frankie, I think of fun. I know that you're always up for a laugh. I know that you're always going to laugh at my stupid jokes and I'm really going to miss that. But even though you're leaving and I think it's a great loss for the state and for our school and for our kids because you're the best I've ever seen at what you do, I'm excited for you. I know you need to recharge and I know that this next step is something you want to do. And so I support it. I want to believe that this is not like an end for us, but like a, we're going to be together in a different fashion, like friendship still, possibly future working together when you get things straightened out and you decide what it is that you want to do. I think it's really cool that you're taking this time for yourself and I'm going to miss you. I'll see you around. Michael Frankie! Frank Diz, as I like to call you. Just that I'd hop on here and give you an emotional little message because we all know I probably won't make it through this without crying. Um, just wanted to say thank you for being you. Over the past four years, we have um, become closer buds and this year I actually got to co-teach with you. But you've been much more than a co-teacher. You've been a friend, you've been a buddy, guidance counselor, life counselor, a time or two, but more importantly, you've just been a really good person. You've uh, seen me at my worst and seen me at my best over the past four years, and I just can't thank you enough for being you and for um, teaching me not only about special education, but about um, this journey called life. And so I just want to say thank you and that I'm going to miss you greatly, but I'm thankful for God putting you in my life and I know that you're there for a reason and just wanted to say that no matter what you do, you're going to be great at and um, I'm going to miss you. So whenever you get tired of flipping houses or counseling crazy people, you can always come back and be the great special ed teacher that we've all known and got to love around here so good luck and I wish you the best in all that you do and um, just know that you have forever made an impact on my life and I'm thankful for you I love you friend Michael Frankie uh, this is my last my attempt at hurrying up and getting a video done for you because Alicia keeps reminding me and I'm going to get in huge amounts of trouble. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I mainly just wanted to tell you that I love you as my friend. You're a love, wonderful, I, tell you, I can't do it that far, <laughs> human being. Uh, you're so pure and I appreciate being able to reflect off of you as part of the universe as well. Uh, you're true. <laughs> Uh, not, it's always been like that. You're very grounding and I appreciate that and always rational uh, And I'm proud of you for everything you've done and all your schooling and working with these young kids and keeping your wits about yourself and all of that um, Anyways, my friend, I love you. So proud of you. And this is so weird doing these videos but, yeah, I love you, man. Thank you for being my friend and I look forward to uh, the rest of it. Peace. Michael Frankie, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. I'm so proud of you and all you've done for the last decade with the kids that you work with and your teachers and you have a gift and it shines and it shows. And you're gonna carry that with you wherever you go. 
talented builder. Build our place higher, baby. Out of the flood zone. It's been a crazy couple weeks. Um, I love you through it. And uh, we've survived two floods now. And again, congratulations on all the work that you've done with the schools and the kids for all these years. You are a keeper and amazing. And I love you. I do have one little story for you though. Um, with the recent flooding events, it kind of lost my mind. But something I thought about when I think about uh, Frankie is when we first took you uh, snowboarding, my family and I, we went to Lake Tahoe. And I think it was one of your first times snowboarding. And my family and I, my dad, we see this yellow ball zooming down the mountain you're wearing a yellow jacket and then you just tumbled and spilled and that's so you is you attacked the mountain and with such gusto and passion and it, it was so cool because i grew up you know skiing and such and you even though you were a beginner you had this pizzazz about you and i think you carry that with you with whatever you do and uh Anyway, I just, when I think about you, I think about that yellow ball flowing fast down the mountain and you ate it. But man, I think you had fun. We love you, Mr. Frankie. We're going to miss you. Sweet.